So now in this video we're going to take a quick look at the 74HC21. So it is a dual, you can see there's two of them in the integrated circuit. For input, you can see they got four inputs and logic gate. So that's the and logic gate symbol right there. It's one of the integrated circuits I have in this kit here. So it's the high speed CMOS uh, kit and I think they still sell this with the same uh, integrated circuit. So these other ones are ones that I fried. I have a second kit though that has a uh, backup. So in any case 74HC21 I think I made a video on all these other ones up to this point. At some point I'd like to make a video of all of them and a diagram of all of them. So in any case not a terribly exciting uh, integrated circuit and also there's 16 output or I mean not output 16 input combinations because you got four inputs there and uh, some of them can be high some of them can be low or they could all be high or all low there's 16 total uh, combinations. right now the outputs low that is the uh, bottom pin pin 8 over here so you work your way around and then uh, counterclockwise to uh, to number it so uh, pin 8 it's that bottom one there's a little jumper coming to where the two LEDs are the uh, blue LED you can see positive side to the anode uh, short lead cathode uh, goes uh, to the jumper to the output so the output is low right now we are going to slowly move the uh, jumpers and they're close to each other so I gotta be careful I don't yank out more than one at a time right there so now we got uh, three of them high and uh, one of them low it doesn't matter which ones are high and low as long as we have a low one the output's going to be low. Now when I pluck it, you're going to see uh, both LEDs are kind of lit up. It's actually bouncing back and forth. It'll probably get worse if I uh, touch it. No, it's the same. Uh, picking up stray signals there. Uh, high and low, bouncing on it. And that's why they're both uh, they're both not lit at the same time. They were alternating, but they were alternating so fast that they looked like they were both lit at the same time. So there you can see. We uh, moved our way down until they were all high, and the output is high. Pretty simple. We can uh, work our way down and start setting them low. It's a little hard to see down there. Maybe I'll move it up there so it's a little easier to see. And uh, we're going to keep going low. The inputs don't let current in or out. They just look at the voltage. So you can put it directly to a supply rail. And now it's uh, we got it floating where the other ones are in the supply, but they're in the low. So as long as them, one, at least one of them is low, the other ones could be floating, doesn't matter, or they could be high, the output's going to be low. As long as one of them's low or more, the output is low. Uh, pretty simple there. So, as I said, this isn't an exciting uh, circuit. It would be crazy to uh, draw a schematic or something. There'd be a lot going on for a circuit that doesn't really uh, do much. So, I'm just keeping this one simple, but I still hope you enjoy it. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted on the screen and check out the links down below. They help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.